All right, so today we're pressure testing the uh, high pressure oil system on my F250, so 2004 model. And uh, I'm just a shade tree, shade tree mechanic and actually a bad one at that, but uh, trying to save some money and getting my, my truck running again. It's got a leak somewhere in the HPO system. So what we've done is we've actually had a custom built little deal that uh, plugs into the ICP port, uh, sensor port to uh, plug our air into. It's a M12 by 1.5 threads that you can get uh, your local hydraulic shop to make up for you. We got your turbo removed for ease of access. Some people like to do it without the turbo removed. I just like to have more room. And then back here we have our um, H I C. I'm sorry, IPR valve wired sort of haphazardly. I'm not an electrician either, so uh, wired up to our battery. I haven't plugged it. I haven't connected the B plus side to it yet, but I got it ready to go. I got I got it grounded back there on the um, ground bolt on the intake manifold, just for ease uh, of grounding it. And so what we're going to do is apply 12 volts DC to the uh, IPR valve, and we're applying it to the red wire side of the IPR valve. That's where the B plus goes. The uh, the yellow wire, if I remember, remember right, is the uh, negative side. It's um, so you can tell that by looking at your IPR uh, connector, which side to connect the B plus to. Uh, most IPR valves, at least mine, the two that I have, do not click when you energize them. In fact, we'll energize them now, just to show you. Well, actually, mine did click, huh? For the first time. <laughs> I told you I was a bad shade tree mechanic. So anyway, we're going to apply air here uh, in. Set the valve. Now we got air going to the valve. It's actually the noise is going to be around the valve right now. We're going to energize for no longer than two minutes the um, the valve itself. It just clicked, which mine has never done before, so uh, that's okay. Uh, so now we're going to listen for air. I'm using a long oil funnel spout as my as my uh, listening device, I'm going to look look at the right hand uh, valve cover, uh, driver side, and I have no noise there. I'm going to pick stick it in the the cover on the uh, passenger side. There is a little bit of uh, mist coming out, so that's a possibility. Now I'm going to listen to the oil drain tube. And I definitely hear oil, I mean air coming out of there. I'm also going to listen to the oil, uh, the turbo uh, drain back. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, is that the drain back or supply line? Yeah, that's a supply line hole. I don't hear any noise coming out of there. If I, I heard noise there before last year, and it was my uh, high pressure oil pump that had failed, but now you can hear air coming out of the, um, the oil drain, the turbo drain line, which means probably one of my, my tube in there has lost its. Uh, ability to seal. So I'm going to disconnect my IPR valve because I don't want it to be more than two minutes. There's a change in the air noise. I'm going to stick my my oil thing. There is some noise there but it's not as pronounced. I still have some mist coming out. I don't know if you can see that coming out of my um, oil uh, filler oil hole over here on my passenger side. So that's, that's a possibility as well. It could be my injector D-rings. I did replace my standpipe and dummy plugs before I did this, thinking that's what the problem was, but it still hasn't fixed my uh, hot no-start <coughs> no issue. It will crank when it's cold, but not when it's hot. So I guess now it's time to pull the old intake manifold off and uh, pull the H-pop cover and um, see if my suspicions are correct. Hopefully they are. I'm going to waste a lot of time. All right, so that's how you air pressure test your HPO system on a six liter turbo diesel. And uh, I'm trying to get this thing turned off. And if you have any questions, uh, don't call me because I'm a bad shade tree mechanic. All right.